Hi there. Um, I've been away for quite a while, uh, but I've had um, some requests on how I make some of my textures. Um, so really, I mean, mostly I go out and with my camera, but unfortunately I can't at the moment with isolation. Um, but you you take pictures. You can actually take pictures of anything like crunched up foil, uh, bubble wrap, uh, wood grain. Uh, peeling plaster on your walls, um, a chrome lamp, um, anything like that. And then you just upload them and you can change the colours of those, um, put a blur to that effect or put even another one of your textures over it just to see what you get then as well. So I'm just going to give you um, some examples of what I mean. This is a parrot I, I took um, from a, a little animal zoo that I went to so I've put some open here that I've, I've taken of things so like some gold um, crunched up paper I think from Christmas um, and that's a, an ICM that I try and I'm not very good at ICMs but it's just anything blurry with some colours uh, which will go over another photograph um, that is uh, just the beach so I've got the blurred out pebbles at the front and uh, the waves at the back uh, it's not um, good photos you know I'm not I, I, wanting to take really good photographs of anything it's just because I know it's going to get distorted and hidden when I apply things over any photos that I've got so that's like a wet um, windscreen uh, you can just spray it with uh, any glass or your shower glass or anything like that you can just spray it with a water bottle to get loads of water effects uh, that's just uh, a rusted uh, pot I've got outside um and and i'll just show you what you can do for for things like even a picture so obviously sometimes unless you're doing a double exposure you don't want a picture over another picture and with the images i do i don't double expose i always just add a texture uh, and to make it more of a painterly effect um so i'll show you just a quick thing i've been uh, trying out because i've seen loads of twirls at the moment going on um online and I've only just learnt that this morning. Um, I've actually give it a try and had a play about. So it's just quite fun to do while you're, you're all off at the moment and staying inside and finding stuff to do. So I'll just show you what I did. So I've opened up my image of my parrot. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to convert to smart object. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is go on filter. Then pixelate and then mesotint and it just makes it all horrible like that really I, I went on this the other day and I thought oh that's not good and I came out of it um, but I've watched someone today on YouTube and uh, how to do the twirls and that this is what they do to give them the twirl effect so it's under percent and medium stroke so you press OK so it goes horrible like that but all these little grains of white make your twirling um, go a little bit better okay so then what you do now is you need to blur it so you go to blur and radial blur and on here amount is 100 you zoom okay and good quality is okay so you press the okay to that and then that makes my parrot go all funny and then you go to filter again and just do it two or three times and it smooths it out so it keeps the same settings so you press okay again and it smooths it out a little bit more and you press radial blur again and it does it again okay so that's all your blurring done so now we're going to distort it with the twirl so we filter distort and then twirl and then you can do whatever you want you can do full twirls but you've got to go one direction one time and then another direction another time so i'm just going to go just a slightly at one four three there that way so then it twirls that way okay and then i'm going to go on the top twirl here and in, in the box and then go on blending options and then what i'm going to do i'm going to choose lighten on this one because all the the light bits uh, will show out more and the movement okay so you choose lighten 
so you can see more wispiness of the the movements okay so that's looking okay as it is i mean i tend to uh, sometimes as well if i come across something i like i'll save it into my texture folder and then i've got that texture as well and then once i've changed it again obviously you've got another different texture so i'm making one photograph you can come out with about eight different textures if you like it's entirely up to you it depends what you like and you think oh that'll go nice because anything will look totally different over any photograph as a layer a texture layer so what i'll do again now is your twirl at the top remembers it and then go the opposite direction okay so press ok and then it goes like that okay so then your top twirl again there your top twirl right click blending options it's really fun I've been playing with it all morning trying to um, I mean I've only just learned it myself so that just shows how easy it is because I'm no techno at all so you can actually go down you don't have to always go lighten that'd be lighten okay so you can keep it at that or you can go multiply and it darkens it or you could go overlay just try all these different ones just to see what um, works best really what screen like screen makes it really light it's 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 good to have a, a bit of everything in like texture wise in your folders because it all depends then on the photograph that you're actually trying to make an image from so i'm going to stick to light and with that one and then press ok so that's basically it i'm quite happy with that and then now all it's down to you is your personal preference on how bright you want it how light you want it how contrast you want it so i'm going to go on use saturation and on here um, you can actually just change everything you can just scroll through and see oh i love that i love that color so i'm going to change it. i'm going to keep it at that because i like that so i might just increase the saturation more maybe yet yeah, to there yeah and then maybe no darken it darken it there you go okay so now i'd also like to go on my levels i love my levels and then that will increase the the white and just makes it pop i think a little bit more makes it pop and stand out okay so i'm quite happy with that i love that so now i always flatten because i'm quite happy um and that that's just beautiful so now a file save as find my textured folder which is textured backgrounds there jpeg and just name it anything you like twirl five okay so saved and that's saved now in my textures folder so i can apply that over any photograph that i want so that's that one now this one um you you could do anything with this i mean you could do your blur you could even you do your twirl again um let's do lens blur i've never tried lens blur so bear with me i don't know what i'm doing but it's always best to give it a, a go no i'll come out of that because i'm lost right blur gaussian blur let's have a look so yeah that's that's blurred it a little bit but then you can also do like a color lookup you can change the whole color and just by scrolling down on here it'll give you different variations of what you can do no don't like any of them so it's just playing about really um and seeing what you like um fragment what's this fragment just have a play didn't do anything that did it pixelate mosaic maybe all oh, right okay so that makes it all it's just playing about 
and see what image you can actually come up with. And then you can even do the, the radial blur again if you wanted to. And it just makes it even more blurred but gives a slightly different effect. So do your radial blur again to make it smooth. And then there's nothing stopping you um, going into your, your textures folder that you've got already and um, applying something over it like this one that I did earlier today. Click OK and then go through your blend modes as normal and just to see what other things it gives you. And everything that you like it will come across when you're doing things like this. Don't forget to save it. See, see that? That's totally different colours now. So I'm quite happy with that to make another texture to put into my texture folder. So what I do then is save as a textured folder again. Make sure it's the JPEG. And then just put twirl six. And then that'll be another um, texture to overlay photographs with uh, to make your composites. Uh, but if obviously if you wanted to carry on just changing things or having a look, see even something like that, it'd go over anything, any of these would go over like that. Right, so I'm going to save that as well. You see, just going through all the blend modes gives you totally, totally different um, images to save. So I'm going to call that twirl seven. I'm going to end up with about 100 twirls, but at least it's like loads. You've got loads of textures and things uh, to go over your photographs. So that's that. So now this ICM, I'm not very good at ICMs, um, but I did give it a go one time and it's just not for me really. But the ideal when you're out outside taking photographs, just do something blurry just to get some colours. If you see background colours that you like or you see a, a woodland or um, loads of flowers, just do a, a little movement, a slight movement with ICM and you'll get like all the blurred colours coming through. So that's a texture uh, that you can actually put over photographs as well. Um, nothing stopping you changing um, the colours to this by scrolling through. So I like that. So straight away, um, see if I can brighten it or darken it. Maybe go on to vibrance, make it a little bit more colourful. There you go. And there's nothing then stopping you saving that. So save as. Go into your textured backgrounds again, JPEG, and then just call that your ICM um, background. And then you've got another texture in your folder. And it's just as simple as that, really. You can you can keep carrying on doing what you you want, or you, there's nothing stopping you to like again, putting over a different. This is another one I made earlier this morning practicing. So you can put that over as well. And then go on your blend modes, see what that then gives you. It's endless, absolutely endless what um, you can do with your blend modes and adding another layer over something. It's just phenomenal. So, I mean, that it's nothing to look at, but it might do, you know, uh, fantastic over an image. Because you, you, you're thinking of brightness and colours and, and anything really um, for you to just play about with. So anything that takes your fancy really, uh, you can go along with. Okay, so then next we've got the beach. Um, not a good photograph at all. All I wanted was the blues, white, blues and white, just so then it, that can go over an image and put some colour or some effect into there uh, but there's nothing stopping you either like picking on your your colours itself like here uh, and putting a bit of whatever you want on like that and then going on another colour and doing that 
Okay, there's nothing stopping you at all doing anything. It's just like a you're playing, just having a play like children. Keeps you happy, keeps you just practicing on things. And so then we could then do the, because we've got a bit more colours in there. In fact, let's go for a bright colour there first before we move on. Nice bright orange. Put the orange there. Okay. So then what we do, convert that to a smart object maybe. And then you'd go on the pixelate and do that mesotint again where it looks all horrible. There you go. So you could even use that alone as a texture. Okay. Um, change the colours of it again in your, your saturation or your vibrance. But you, that could go even in your, your, your folder. Anything can go in your texture background folder. Um, but here I'm going to carry on trying to do another twirl because I'm into twirls at the moment. So I'm going to do filter and blur. When it comes up, for some reason it's not. Is there anything I've done wrong? Let's have a look. Filter, blur, radial filter, that's what I'm looking for. 100, zoom and good. You click OK. And then filter again. It always remembers what you did last up there. So you click radial filter again. It'll keep the same settings. Do it again. And it smooths it out even more. And then do it again. Okay, now what I'm going to do with this image, I don't like it in the portrait, so I'm actually going to turn it. So I think where it is image, image rotation. I'm going to do it that way. I'm going to do it on a landscape before I actually do the twirl. There you go. Okay, we might get a bit more better effect with the twirl. So now we're going to go on your filter and you distort and you twirl. And you can actually zoom out so you can see what it's going to do. I might do that much this time. Let's have a look. Yes. And then right click smart filter and the blending options there on the top twirl and then click let's have a look at multiply see what multiply gives me no i don't like multiply darken no lighten yes lightening it up a bit so i'll keep that and then go on it again so twirl and go the other way. And then that's brought it out a bit different there. So again, right click on the top there and go on edit smart filter blending options. And we'll see what this gives us. And again, I like to see what it's going to do. So lighten again would make it really light. Oh, let's go on overlay, see what that goes as. If you want really bright colours, that's a good one. That's quite a nice one. I like that. Soft light. So I like that. So now you can actually go on new saturation and play around with the colours. Just scroll through, see what you like. like that put the vibrant uh, saturation up just slightly darken it and then i'm going to go on levels i love my levels it just makes it all pop out and darken the bits and it's like just to give you an idea, right, I'll just save that. Save as another texture, 
textured backgrounds, JPEG, and then twirl eight. So that's saved anyway. Okay. And then now, just to show you, if I open one of my old photographs, maybe say that. Okay. I've done that many now, so it's there. So go on that again. Just drag something just for instance, just to show you. One of my images of two rowing boats I took. Obviously, it's not the right ratio, but just to give you an idea of how it looks. Just little colours it adds. So you could take that away, keep this colour, keep this colour on the wall. There's multiply and all these little things on here will just make your image just gives it something so it's just playing about really and every one you make is going to add to it you know because obviously this wouldn't be the only texture you apply but just to say for instance how oh, I like that but I don't like it on the boat I take it off the boat well I would if I could yeah because it's just taking it off there isn't it do, 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 do. oh you're applying it there so you'd have to take it off there wouldn't you Okay, so that's what you'd do, and then obviously once it's because the I think it's because I've got it as a smart filter and I've got all these applied because I was making the actual twirl, but uh, obviously when you put in your um, see even like moving it down has made that totally different now. I'm gonna see if it makes it better now oh you see that adds it on oh how good is that very clever very clever so you could have a colourful boat so yeah it's just having a, a little play you see that would take it all back so it's I still have to get the hang of Photoshop myself trying to teach everybody but I don't know it myself yet but look at that just alone so even then I'd crop that I'd crop what I don't want and I'd just have that and because it's a smart fill so you see that's why it's done that so yeah you just have a play about and see what you get see what you achieve at the end because um, you never know I mean that's quite funky really isn't it it's quite good and then obviously you'd um, like say on the other images I'd flatten it so now I know it's going to work uh, when I apply any other over there so say for instance go into my textured backgrounds and just choose anything let's have a look maybe something to lighten it up so you just scroll through all the even something like that and then rotate it see what this does this were a texture I had and I applied the water uh, and bouquet texture over it as well so I've got your met you've got your scratches of your metal your bouquet and uh, some runny water so it's just um, just making a texture really so let's see what that gives us and remember if you like something 
you don't know it's a bit too heavy I always go on fill you see I like that so now choose that go on that and I take that off the boat keep my boat standing out and it's reflection standing out remember if you go over anything just change it to white and make your brush smaller and just put that back just so it fits in okay and you just keep playing and doing what you like doing so that's quite nice you could even do all your water really if you wanted to but just like a lower lower the opacity down and you flow just a little bit and then just to to darken where you want to darken really and it just makes that the bottom bits you know blending a little bit more with the the boat it gives like a little misty little look there you could even just go down the side of your and then just try another put something else over that let's have a look and it's just to give you examples really of you can make anything um, a texture out of anything let's have a look at that one see this were an ICM that's the one I've just changed isn't it the colors of it but it seems to go with the colors of um, this photograph at the moment so we'll see so yeah that's that's very nice if I cleared the boat in fact I might clear the boat I like that let's just scroll down just to see I'm not missing anything first So you've got loads of um, different looks. You could go for an abstract um, photograph, you know, image that you're making. I like that. But I did like another one as well, so I'm just going to recheck that. I like that as well because it gives a bit more light. Yeah, I like that. And then that would be the softer version. It's too much choice now, see. So I liked that, didn't I? But say if I just add, what is it called again? I'll hover over it. A vector mask. If I add a vector mask, which is that, and then make my boat stand out, I think it'll look too much too fake hmm. you can still alter that so it blends in a bit more just go over the edges where I went over yeah I do I do like that that's nice so I like that so I'm gonna flatten that image and what you can do as well with things like this okay you can what's this called create a new layer so you create a new layer okay so I'm gonna use a brush because so I like to see the ropes so what I'm gonna do I'm going to find my artist brushes and I'm going to draw my own ropes on there. Close these. It's too low for any birds, so I won't be needing any birds, even though I do love my birds, as you know, if you follow me. and. Um, most of my images I've got birds on. 
but this one isn't any good for a bird unless it's a really low flying bird but I'm going to leave the bird out and I'm just going to try and find my artist brushes that's it there you go watercolor artist brush so I want it on white so change that to white and then I want it to be the smallest I can go really so it's very um, just lower the opacity and then you can just put them from anywhere really like that could even have one going that way and going that way and you can even have one um, leading up there you can just put them anywhere you like and if you don't like control Z control Z control Z control Z to get rid um, you can have it coming out of the water like that one I think that looks a bit wrong myself so I'll take that off uh, you can even lower the opacity of it a little bit more so it's really faint so it looks like it's further away and even tinier like that okay so I quite like that so what I'm going to do now is just flatten that image and then I'm going to do my levels because I like my levels just makes it stand out a little bit more put the darks back down right in the middle yeah I like that that's lovely see if I can do the saturation maybe just change colour see what that gives me I like the colours apart from the boat on that one So I'll just stick with what it was, like that, you can make it more vibrant or less vibrant, or saturation I mean, so then I'm happy with that. So that looks okay, so now usually I'll flatten again, I always flatten because I'm quite happy with it, and then I go in my filter raw, camera raw filter, so filter, camera raw filter. I love a sharpened image so sharpen mask it a little bit I only put a little bits on these ones and then you can actually go into this one and you can actually bring up the luminance of the blue see what that does see so you can make it stand out a little bit more or you can make the red shine a little bit more saturation you could bring your red down I'll put that up your oranges same again just just move it around to see um, what it brings to your your final image that makes a big difference taking that out keep it the blue but that should gives it that bit more light like a reflective light and that as well yep yeah, so quite happy with that that'll change now just a slight touch there and then always then you can do your um, border and this is what usually finishes it off so there you go, that would be a lovely little picture, um, bathroom wall, toilet wall, or something like that, because it's, it's just made out of the textures that you've made yourself, out of a, an image was, that wasn't really that good, but you've just enhanced it and made it a bit more, a, a lot better. Uh, if I'd have spent time, uh, a bit more time on it, I'd have, I wouldn't have covered the numbers there, I'd have had that showing. 
Uh, but obviously it's it's a rush job. Uh, you could even put the, the odd bird just flying past if you wanted to, but I just think it's this, it's simple on its own like that. Um, you could even give it a watercolour effect, you know, an oil an oil colour effect with the filter, stylize and oil paint. You could do that as well. So it just soften the edges if you didn't want it looking sharp. But I think that's a lovely, lovely, um, bright... Um, you know picture um and it's it's very colorful uh so yes um i've enjoyed showing you um how to do textures or make a, an image and change the color of it change the the pattern of it um and apply it over any image that you've got just to give you something different and abstract and uh just keep on having a play about like i did this morning just learning about the twirls um so have a good day everybody who's um in lockdown and um wish we could get out i'm missing going out with my camera um but unfortunately at least we we learned things on photoshop and uh we'll get there in the end so please subscribe and uh, leave any comments um that could be even helpful to myself um because sometimes i don't know what i'm doing on here i just do what i can um, but thank you for following me and thank you for listening in and have a good day. Bye bye.